Yo guys, f 5 here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Synology to a single hard drive. No USB needed, no ESXi needed, and no other hard drives needed. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to download this file. Uh, the link may be different when this video is actually live, but the same principle is going to apply. Uh, once we've downloaded that, we'll get a single HDD Synology.zip file, which will look like this once extracted. Once you've extracted the file, you should have a copying.txt, a dd.exe, an sda.image.gzip and the first thing we're going to need to do is extract this gzip file. Uh, you're going to need win, uh, ra or 7zip to extract it. So just extract that. Okay, now that that's extracted, we're going to need to go to Windows and Run, uh, R, to go to Run. And type in diskmgmt.msc. Which will take you straight to disk management. No messing around in control panel or anything. Like so. Now this guy's going to assume you've already plugged the hard drive in. And it's also not covering the Win32 disk image uh, method for USB drives. This is for an actual drive connected internally to your system through SATA or IDE. As you can see here I have a disk 2 which is unallocated. And... First thing we're going to need to do is right click this and go to offline. This will pre prevent anything like uh, Windows features running th that could stop the process working. So once we've done that, we can close that. Take note of the number, in my case it was number 2. Now we're going to need to go to Windows, type in CMD, make sure to run it as admin if you're on Windows Vista 7 or 8, and obviously 8.1 as well. And then we're going to cd to the directory where we extracted those files which was c user scott documents tutorial single hdd synology for me at least now all we need to do is type in the following command cd if equals sda dot image of equals backslash backslash dot backslash physical drive then the number in my case two dash dash progress bs equals 32 m this way it will speed the process up dramatically and we shall be done a lot quicker so we'll press enter and it should work as you can see there i just got the media is right protected error i knew that was going to happen so what we're going to need to do is type in disk P A R T and then type in select disk to your number again. Attrib disk clear read only. Okay, now that will remove the uh, read only feature. If we go to exit, then we'll be back here. Press up twice and we'll go back to the DD command. Press enter and it should work this time. There we go, it's doing it now. As you can see, the uh, blocks are going up. Okay, as you can see there, it's done. Now all we need to do is exit this, uh, shut down our systems, unplug the hard drive, and then boot it up into the system you want to install DSM to. It's already installed, you don't need to go to the install option or anything, just leave it on the default boot menu. And um, yeah, then it should log in with admin and admin from another system, use find.synology, and then it should work. Um, as you can see here, I just rescanned the disk so that it found changes, and you can see I've got a 2.3 8GB EXT4 Linux RAID partition here, and a 2GB Linux swap partition here. Now, this is all not being used. You, you can fix that by uh, going into Synology DSM. Once you're in Synology DSM, if you go to Storage Manager, then click Volumes, then you should be able to create a new volume somewhere along there. I'm not going to cover that because it's fairly simple. So yeah, there you have it. I spent many hours trying to figure out how to do this the easiest way. Ended up installing Grub2 onto it and making it bootable and DDing the image. So yeah, and that's pretty much it if this this may not work on ide drives 
in regards to the expanding of the storage at the end, uh, in which case then you're going to need another hard drive. But it does still boot from an IDE drive, so yeah, tested on SATA and IDE hard drives. And that's about all really, so hope you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, more to come soon, and don't forget to like, dislike, and share this video around so that more people see it and more people can have Synology running on their systems. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you whenever I have a new tutorial for you. Bye. The guest operating system, so in this case Synology DSM. Uh, so we create a new virtual disk, uh, leave it at 16 gigs. Make sure it's SCXI00. Sorry, SCSI00. Uh, and then we'll go to finish. And there's our new VM right there.